Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Trish Stewart. I'm going to show you a couple basic pressing techniques and hopefully they'll help you with your half square triangles and your bands so that you have more success when you're quilting. Okay, I want to show you something. I did a half square triangle. This side of it was pieced. It was actually two strips in a band and then they were made into half square triangle units and sewn into this. And when I, when I pressed this, because there's a seam in here, I pressed toward this. It just happens this is lighter, but I still would have pressed toward it and accommodated it when I sewed the units together. And I want to show you what happens when I want to sew two half square triangle units together to make a quarter square triangle. And I'm going to lock the seams in. And you can feel as you go along here, if there's a gap, if it's too far apart, you feel this little bump in here, divot. If it's too far over, it's a lump. So we want to get these two seams to match right up with each other. And you can tell they are when you open and check it. Now what I'm going to do is I will draw a center line diagonally. That's my cutting line. A quarter inch away, I'll draw one line. A quarter inch away, I'll draw the other line. Then I'm going to sew on those two seams, cut it apart, and then I'll press it open. So let me just show you them, you know, like little pictures, step by step. I used a chalk wheel to mark my cutting line, my seam line, and my seam line. Okay, when I sewed this, I sewed just to the inside edge of the, of the line that I drew. And that's so that if I'm a little bit off on my line because there's a little extra that seems to go between the edge of the ruler and where the line is actually drawn, it pulls it over and then if I need to I can trim up just that little tiny bit off my block when I'm done cutting these apart and pressing them so that I end up with the perfect size unit, whatever I'm working on. Okay, now you can see I cut it apart and then here's another trick. If you cut the little ears off and you cut it so that it cuts in the direction of it when it's a square, when you open this then you won't have these little ears. Like when I open this one I'm going to have these little ears sticking off that I'm going to have to trim. But I like to trim when I'm cutting things apart it makes it so much faster and easier. Now I have my darker fabric on top. I'm going to press this and I'm going to press right into the seam because I've got a seam coming here and if I go straight up sometimes what happens is I end up um, with a little bit of a bulge there. So quarter square triangles are just slightly different. Steam. There you go. Now there is my quarter square triangle. Quarter square means that you have one, two, three, four triangles in your block. Then I would just make sure when I put my ruler on here that my unit measures to whatever the raw size is that I need. And I do that by lining up the diagonal on one of the diagonal seams and then measuring the size of the unit. You can see this one is a little bit bigger than five inches, so I would be able to trim to five inches and to do that I come in here to the two and a half inch mark and I place that directly in the center so that I could trim a little here and then I would turn it put it on here line up the two and a half inch again one two and a half right on the center make sure that my diagonal 45 degree line is going in the right direction and then cut the two other sides that's it I hope this helped you. If you don't know what size to cut your squares to make half square triangles and quarter square triangles, then you can go right to my website and there is a link that you can download a PDF that will give you all of the sizes so you know what to cut. The website is www.trishstewart.com.